On October 2, 2005, Donovan McNabb and the Philadelphia Eagles went to Arrowhead Stadium to take on Trent Green and the Kansas City Chiefs in a highly contested matchup. It all started with a Priest Holmes three-yard flyover to make it 7-0 Kansas City. This also led to a 38-yard field goal by Giants legend Lawrence Tynes to make it 10-0. KC didn't stop there as Trent Green threw an 8-yard touchdown pass to Eddie Kennison, giving the Chiefs a 7-point lead. However, the late Jim Johnson's defense decided to put up a fight as Sheldon Brown, yes, that Sheldon Brown, picked off a Trent Green pass and went for 40 yards for a touchdown with a missed extra point, making it 17-6 Kansas City. This backfired, however, as the Chiefs went back to work as the human joystick, Dante Hall, returned one back for 96 yards to put Philadelphia back in a deeper hole making it 24-6 Chiefs. This didn't diminish Philly's hopes, though, as McNabb threw a 7-yard touchdown pass to excessive showboat extraordinaire Terrell Owens to make it 24-13 Kansas City. What a jackass! The Eagles were slowly creeping up as David Akers' backup Todd France kicked the 44-yard field goal, shortening Kansas City's lead. Philly finally came back with a three-yard touchdown pass to long snapper Mike Bartram. And a two-point conversion thanks to a Brian Westbrook reception to tie it up at 24. Todd France eventually gave Philly the lead with a 37-yard field goal, making future Kansas City Chiefs head coach Andy Reid a very happy man, and the current Chiefs coach Dick Vermeil a very sad one, and making Terrell Owens the face of animosity. Donovan McNabb didn't let his foot off the gas as he threw a one-yarder to L.J. Smith, giving the Eagles a 10-point lead. Todd France finished his 3-for-4 performance with a 26-yard field goal to make it 37-24 Philadelphia. The Chiefs were looking to fight back as Trent Green threw a 15-yard touchdown pass to Dante Hall, making it his second touchdown of the game. However, Kansas City failed an onside kick in which McNabb was able to knee down on it to finish the game with the final score being 37-31 Philadelphia. Former Eagles and Chiefs head coach Dick Vermeil went on to retire after the 2005 season, and seven years later, Andy Reid went on to coach the Chiefs, leading them to glory 15 years after this game was played. Oh, the circle of life. This has been another Turn Back Time, brought to you by yours truly.